Hello and welcome back everybody, this is Mohammed Said with you again. In this video, we're going to learn about creating interesting levels. So let's get started with our new video. So in the previous video, we learned how to um, create collisions, how collisions work, and how to code them in Unity, and we created our own collision script. So in this video, we're going to learn about how to create interesting levels. So first of all, we're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna have to um, have a lot of obstacles. So just let's give you a quick preview of um, what we did in the last video. So we learned about how to make objects, and uh, the objects just um, we just stop moving when we collide. So and as you see, when we collide here in our player. You're gonna see that our player um, movement script it's off so in this video we're gonna learn about how to create um, levels we're gonna make the levels harder and we're gonna change some stuff in our movement and uh, not the script so we're not gonna be coding that much uh, we're just gonna be making two changes so okay first of all uh, to have a better look on our uh, to have a better look what we're gonna do is we are gonna uh, select our ground we're gonna press on y and we're gonna zoom out so as you see now it's much better now you can uh, like see the thing much easier so you can create games easier so yeah it's kind of like the 2d view when you press here but this is a lot different it's not the same at all so we're gonna be using how to use the 2d but we're not gonna be using it now at all so i prefer not using the 2d now okay so here's our uh, player so what we're gonna do to make other obstacles is that here okay we're gonna drag our obstacle and put it here as you see now, uh, we have an obstacle in our assets. So let's just try to do this. Let me see what's gonna happen if I put this here. It works. Um, now we can have a lot of obstacles. Uh, they're all connected with each other. So that's why you see this obstacle, and this obstacle one and yeah. Okay, so let's have a look. Um, now we're gonna have to create interesting designs so here you're gonna use your imagination so yeah we're gonna use our imaginations later on we're gonna learn about how to make it random but for now we just have to use our imaginations create interesting levels so yeah i'm gonna come back when i'm done okay so i just created a very easy design it didn't take me even a minute so let me just show you what I'm talking about. Um, it's going to be quite fast because there's something I need to show you after this. You're going to see that things are really floating. That's because um, these are not on the ground. So they have to be exactly on the ground. So what we have to do is, as you see now, I'm zooming out and I'm selecting them. And you're going to tell me how did it select our ground? so that's because i created a layer so what i did is that i went to my ground i pressed on layer i added a new layer so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a layer and we can like create a layer anywhere we want here and i can call it anything you want if i'm just gonna call it ground you can even call it environment just call it anything you want so just that's just gonna tell us that this is the ground it has nothing to do with the thing above so the thing above is the game the thing below is the environment so yeah we're gonna come to our ground again we're gonna press on layer and make it our ground now when we select isn't it doesn't select this so yeah i'm gonna select it and i think i'm gonna move it a bit I'm not sure if this works, um, so I'm just going to press on F and do this. Yeah, to make sure it's pretty much on the ground. Okay, now this is on the ground. I'm not sure what the others are doing right now, so I'm just going to do the same thing to them. 
I'm not sure what this is just what came here okay I'm selecting it doing this F to focus and yeah I think we're good to go let me try it and I'm gonna see if they're still floating uh, this is one of the most common problems you can get it was one of the hardest problem to solve for me uh, so yeah I just had to figure this out uh, so okay uh, now guys there's something I need to tell you so I'm gonna change the place I'm just gonna press an F I'm gonna focus looks from the Y then I'm gonna zoom in okay now I have to go all the way down there so I can get to my um, player. So here, it takes so long. Um, here, okay. You see, if I select this, if I press on control and start moving it, you're gonna see it moves by grids. Uh, it's moving by two units, so this works on the x-axis so i'm gonna bring it back so how to do that is if i press on control and change it, it it will not work from you from the beginning so how to make it work is press on edit go to grid and snap settings press on that and then make the um just do nothing with the rotate and scale just leave it how it is and then change the move just uh, change the first one uh, so it's gonna look kind of like this so just change the first one the move uh, make it from one or whatever it is by default for you make it two so that would make the like changing stuff it will make it much easier and okay and something I'm not sure if you guys did notice it but okay now what we're gonna do is that you see the game's going too fast so I'm gonna go to my player just uh, okay I'm going to my player I'm gonna make my forward force about 1000 um, 1000 now when I'm gonna run let's see what's gonna happen okay now it's even better but I don't know why it does feel like it's not free. There's something holding it. So this is the um, air around it. So I don't know why Unity has that. But the air is changing its movement. So what, we, what we're going to do. We're going to go to our player. And change it to. We're going to go to our player. Then go to the rigid body. Make sure that the drag make it higher than one whatever you want so uh the if it how much it is it's gonna affect it so if it's higher let's say 200 this is very high i just prefer you use one i'm gonna show you just now see what's gonna happen when i make it 200 uh okay i'm gonna see now it's much free um but yeah how are you supposed to know that it's not even moving yet that's because we need to make this higher again 2000 now we're gonna run and we're gonna see okay you see it's moving but it's uh, yeah it's very slow so first of all after before we fix this what we want to do is that we want to go to our script. We want to go to our player movement. And uh, let's see what we're going to do. So we're going to change here. Um, let's just remove those tags. Yep. Okay. What we're going to do is that here in the, um, the rb.add force, two of them. What we're going to do is that we're going to say, we're going to put a comma and we're going to say force mode. Um, force mode dot it's not capital here force mode dot um, velocity velocity change okay um, here 
the velocity change this is gonna make the the mass like as if there's no mass so what i mean is that the mass is not gonna affect our movements so if it has a lot of mass it's not gonna affect how fast it moves so okay we're gonna do that we're gonna save it we're gonna come to our unity um Uh, we're gonna see what's gonna happen when we run i'm not sure it might be um fast or slow so whatever it is we're gonna fix it okay the first thing i noticed that it's still very slow so what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna come here to my player movement and then i'm gonna make this um forward force i'm gonna make it five million what well, five thousand not five million and size wave force is same thing five thousand when i say five thousand i make it five million and when i say five thousand i make it five million i don't know why just it flips around um i don't know if it's because the keyboard lag or something but okay i don't know why it's so slow now i'm just gonna check it and i'm gonna see what's the problem and all that time it's because of a jag um i think yeah it's because we made our jack too high and i forgot to put it low so uh you see now it's better and it's very like it's very speedy so it's so fast so we're gonna put this to one so the air is not gonna do anything but neither is it gonna be there's no air at all which is gonna be so fast so here we're gonna make this i think about 600 you can like change stuff around uh, you can play with this you can change it and it's gonna be like better you can choose your own you can choose your own settings you can create some buttons you press on it you get some you can change your settings but this is kind of advanced we're gonna learn how to do that in our next videos so i'm gonna put this to 100 or 200 so it's not too low neither it is too high um i'm gonna run okay now you see it works but it's slow uh yes it's slow so i'm gonna make this 80 i don't know what that was there i'm gonna make this 80 then i'm gonna make this 1000 see what i'm talking about uh, when i say when i put it to be 1000 it's 100 or a million so I don't know what that is. Okay. Now it works, but our right and left, it's slow. I don't know why this is that slow. I'm going to put this to 80. I'm going to run. Guys, uh, you guys can experiment with it. You can change it, make it higher, make it lower. You don't have to use my settings. You can, change, you can create your own settings. So I'm going to make it 65. Just to be sure. It might be too low, uh, it might be too low again, but I'm sure that the speed force, the forward force is okay. Uh, okay, let me run it again there. I wasn't really paying attention to it. So, um, we're gonna run it again. Okay, I did fall down. But, at least it works now. So, yeah so that's it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you did please don't forget to share like and subscribe to this video so that's it for this video see you on the next one bye